queen e3. So what is he really threatening? He doesn't threaten to take here. Hmm. So queen g g2 takes takes check king h1 and this diagonal looks pretty good but oh, however I mean I could take here let's say I take attack the queen he takes I take Again, I take, knight takes, bishop takes, queen takes, check, check takes, check, king h1, and then bishop takes f3 with the threat of a double check on g1 and next rook g2 checkmate. Right? I think this works. Okay, this is one possibility. So taking here, the other one is maybe f4. But I don't know why this should be better. I mean, what white maybe could do is if I take here knight f4, takes, check, but then he's a piece down. Um, there's one problem though. I just see that this rook is pinned. So if I take, 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 queen d4, hmm. cannot take here well that's a pity so this whole thing doesn't work <laughs> hmm well, how can I get rid of this fork here uh, oh, of this pin I'm not sure what else okay maybe f4 queen needs to move queen cannot go to d3 because then e4 forks knight and queen there might be queen f4 but i just move my queen and then there's still a fork okay so after f4 he needs to play queen d2 right okay and then i take take check and knight f3 and then there's a checkmate okay here just take yeah, it's a pity that this uh, that the computer played f uh, um, didn't play queen d two. I mean, the whole idea was something else, you know. I think after f four, the trick is queen d two, and then not taking here, but taking here he needs to go there and then he cannot do anything i mean let's say something like this takes checkmate okay 